If you're using Unity on Linux, you may not have a UI scaling option. If you're using a 4K or 2, 2K screen, then the fonts will be very small, almost making Unity unusable. Let me show you what I mean. So the first thing I'd like you to know is, if I go to my display settings, I apologize, that was the wrong button. If I go to configure display settings, you can see that my global scale is at 150%. And since I'm using XORG or X11, the you cannot really scale monitors individually. You have to scale them using KDE, the desktop environment that I'm using. You have to scale the entire environment, although there are hacks for that, but they don't work. So the launcher itself, this scales, but if I go to any project, let's say I go, for example, to one of my freelance projects. I mean, I do have a course a uh, Unity freelance course. I'll post a link in the description if you ever want to support me. So I have that course. And um, this, is, this is the problem that you get, basically. I'll show it to you. So as you can see that the fonts are very small. You can use like a magnifier to kind of magnify the, the Unity editor like that. Uh, in KDE, I have this, but it kind of becomes annoying that you have to really maximize this, then make the change, and then minimize this, then go back. It, it kind of gets annoying. So this is what I do. So you can use the script that I'm, that I'm about to show you anywhere that you want. You can basically put it in any folder. That's what I meant. I have it in my applications folder as I'm on KDE. This is the script that I'm going to open right now. If I open this with Kate, this is the script. Copy this and paste it. Don't copy that. Sorry, don't copy this line. This line is actually not required. Only copy this. In fact, I'll just zoom in a bit so you can see it. This is, this is what you have to copy, okay? And another thing too, which you have to be careful about, your Unity Hub might not be installed here, okay? Your Unity Hub might not be installed in this location. You have to find where your executable for Unity Hub is. You have to find that because this is what you're going to insert. Do you understand what I'm saying? You, you can copy this. You can copy this. But make sure that the next thing that you copy and paste should be the executable location of your Unity Hub. I'm on Arsenix. This is where the Unity Hub's executable is. For you, it might be different. Once you do this, you can run the script, and I can run this simply by double-clicking it, but you might need to run it inside of a terminal, so let's go ahead and do that right now. Since I'm using Dolphin, I have a terminal right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do dot forward slash Unity launcher. Oh, another thing that I, for that I forgot. You're, you must make sure that Unity is closed and the Unity Hub is closed as well. Otherwise, this won't work. Remember that. Unity Hub must be closed. You're just going to write what I'm writing right now, like that, and just press Enter. And now when the Unity Hub launches, you will be able to basically use the Unity Editor with a... It'll be two times bigger. So let me just open up my Unity Game Development for Freelancers course, and you'll see that everything is bigger, even Unity is bigger right now, so keep that in mind. And I'm just going to wait for it. And there you go. So everything is two times larger. Now, some people will say it's too large, but at least you, you can use Unity without getting a headache, I guess, and your eyes won't hurt. So this is really the thing that I use. However, please do note that uh, you can't really use any other scale other than the two the one that I showed you, I'll show it to you again. So if I open up the script, you'll see that there is a, there is GDK underscore scale is equal to 2.0. This is, the reason why I'm using 2.0 is because you cannot use 1.5 or 1.25. That's not going to work. So this is the workaround that we Linux people have. I hope this will help you. I know that this is basically not a very good solution. You, uh, like, I know that Windows has a better solution. It has a UI scaling option built in, but this is what we can use until Unity really helps us Linux folks. So yeah.
Oh, and if you want to support me, uh, consider taking a look at my course. It's a course about Unity game development for freelancers. So I'm selling it right now, and I teach you how to become a Unity game develop developer, and uh, then also offer your services as a freelancer. Thank you very much.